Farmer Dre back at it. Today we're gonna go ahead and lift up the plastic mulch that was on the vegetable patch out here next to the high tunnels. We had a few tomatoes, zucchini, squash. Uh, we had a few eggplant, a few melons out here. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up that plastic today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the majority of everything out here is already dead. I'm not gonna do anything to kill off the weeds. Uh, the only thing that's still standing out there is the eggplants, but I'm not too worried about that. Once we get this cleaned up, the only thing we gotta clean up vegetable wise on the farm is number three here of tomatoes. But these things are still coming on nicely. There's a bunch of nice honking ones on there yet. We probably gotta take off this shade cloth here, but another day, plan for another day there. But anyways, we're gonna take the, the mulch lifter and come through here, lift up the plastic, get the winder out here, start winding this up and clean this up and get this ready for next year. So here in the high tunnels, I still need to come through and plant number two here. But number one, I still gotta buy the seed for the crub crop, but we just been busy, busy, busy doing other important things and whenever you're doing something that's more important than cover crop just kind of let it be so anyways jumping the tractor here this is the welding trailer isaac was using this and uh connect the mulch lifter So I don't know who takes them all or loses them, but these safety pins here, I feel like I buy packets all the time and they're always missing. I had to bring two brand new ones for this machine here, even though I used it like two months ago. But anyways, I'm gonna start lifting plastic now. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure your header line is out of the way so that it's not Getting stuck in there. Oh, this is disgusting. All right, so I'm getting really frustrated right now. I didn't realize how bad an impact the weeds that are still alive have. So I probably should have hit this with some herbicide or just wait until the frost to lift it up. Uh, the, the problem is all that sodding grass is getting stuck in between the lifter and that disc there. And then it's just dragging instead of letting the, the plastic flow through there. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna spend any more money on chemical. I'm just gonna look I think I'm just gonna wait until the frost and wait until everything dies, until everything is pretty crisp. And then come back and lift this up. It's a pain. The, the, the issue is it's not it's not lifting it correctly. The plastic is getting buried, and then it's gonna be a pain later on to lift it. So I think I'm just gonna leave it alone right now. Even though I wanted to clean this up, I probably can't just because there's too much sod. There's too much green. And even though I, 
if I wanted to hit it with an herbicide, it's still gonna take a couple weeks to for it to be completely dead out here. So I think I'm just gonna wait until the frost and then deal with it later whenever everything is dead. I'm just getting super frustrated right now because it ain't working how I had planned and how I wanted it to work. But hey, it is what it is. And that's part of it, I guess. So, so I spent all that time disconnecting it for no reason because I think I'm gonna send Adrian back to welding the high density post. And uh, I think that'll be it. I'm not sure. Cause this ain't going today. It ain't going too well. So it is what it is. Got to move on. Got to get the next next project done. This is what I'm talking about right here. This grass is just getting stuck in here, and it's not letting. It just jams up, and then all the plastic that's trying to come through doesn't go through because this grass just gets jammed up here. So if this was dead and brittle, this wouldn't be a problem. Like remember, if you guys remember when I was lifting up plastic much on the strawberries, everything was dead for a couple of weeks, so it was nice and easy. I mean, it just cut right through it. But with this grass and all the weeds going through, uh, it's gonna be uh it's it's a pain so I'm, I'm not it's not gonna be able to go today but that was a plan but we'll see now i guess i'm gonna have to connect the welder trailer back and get back to welding the high density apples so i got that connected isaac should be home from school now but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what he's welding out here and what the plan is to do with high density apples. So out here in Southwest Missouri, as you guys know, we have a lot of rock in our subsoils and our soils. And for us to drive a wooden post, you know, a four, five, six inch wooden post would be absolutely terrible. So we found a metal pipe used metal tubing. And this is a three, eight, two and three eighths. It's real thick, heavy duty stuff. Holds up pretty good to the trellising. The only downside of using wood uh, the only outside using metal is we have to go through and weld these clips onto here. So there's four, we do, we do a four line trellis or four wire trellis here. And that's the only downside is you got to come through in here and weld on these posts here so we could train the trees and tie the trees into the wire. So the newly planted at high density that we planted this past spring, uh, all those MAI varieties, those haven't been trained or trellised. And we just put the bottom wire in so the tree we supported but other than that we did absolutely nothing to them even though they grew about a foot foot and a half up top they still need to be done in trials so that's a winter project we got about two acres of trees to weld and or the post to weld and tie and tie the trees up too so it's going to be quite the the um the project but that needs to be done so that's why these we got Aza isaac going out there and welding and doing all that stuff but i'm standing between our jonathan's which i believe these are I think they're John of Golds. Uh, the guy from the nursery test had told me they're Jonathan's, but these are, I think they're John of Golds uh, because they, they're they sweet and they ripen a whole lot later than normal. And then these are Galas here on this side. So overall, these trees are looking good. Uh, these will be going in their fourth leaf now. So they just got done their third season. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole entire learning experience, but the entire trellis system is a complete different thing compared to the apples. So these are the trees we planted this past spring and these are Crimson Crisp. Uh, these are not an apple part of the MAIA. But I wanna go ahead and show you guys. Um, you know, we gotta come through here and trellis, finish welding the clips. They are marked on top there. But these trees have grown. We got it from the nursery. They were uh, about eight, uh, they're right here. So they've grown a whole lot, but I feel like if they would have been trellised off summer long, they would have grown a little more. So this one broke bud right here, and it grew good 16, 18 inches. Uh, so that's not too bad. And these are on a Geneva 935. So they're really nice about having a lot of nice lateral branches and a lot of soft wood. So we'll let these grow for a whole other year. And Crimson Crisp, I heard, is a, a much slower grower. The actual wood itself uh they say it's similar to honey crisp which is a really slow slow grower and i heard of uh, farmers up north they let these trees grow for about four years before they crop them i believe you know this is already a past the third wire the majority of the trees are past the third wire so we should get them by the top to the top part by the end of next year and then a third year crop them for the first time but i'm pretty tickled how these turned out this year so so far uh so good and a lot of vigor on them a lot of growth but now it's time to get them trellised and 
finish her up. Alrighty y'all, so this is gonna be it for today. Like I mentioned, it's just a really busy time of year for us to do a lot of projects here. A lot of things need to get done, but it is what it is. And you know, some days things work out the way you want them to work out. And some days things don't work out the way you want them to work out. But with that plastic mulcher, a lifter, we'll wait until it freezes. And well, everything's gonna be nice and frosty and nice and dead before we um, try to lift that again. But you know, Isaac's gonna be coming home from school now and continue welding here. And if you guys are asking why I don't weld, I know how to do it, uh, but I'm just not the, the pro, that good at it. And you know, some of my welds never really held up that good. So that's why I just let uh, the people who know how to do it do it, and I focus on other other things. So. This is going to be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day, and we will see you next time.